Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I have a haul video for you guys, and of course, I am always excited about hauls, but I'm more excited about hauls when I get a bunch of stuff on sale, and that's what we have today. I am not going to do a long intro because I'm excited, but it's late and I'm also hungry. So we're going to jump into this video. But before we do, y'all know the drill. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. I'm loving my little family that's growing. I appreciate the support so much. If you love makeup, hair, nails, fitness, all things related to beauty, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump into this video. All right, so <laughs> this bag is full, but it's not all from the cosmetics company store. There's stuff in here from different places. So I'm just going to try to sit this up so it is easy to pull from and we can get into the video. I'm going to start by opening this package because this is some hair products. There is a YouTuber who I watch that does the most amazing wig installs I have ever seen in my life. She makes it look so easy and so natural and she decided to start her own line of like wig products, adhesives, priming spray to help protect your skin, all the things. So of course I had to buy the whole kit. I didn't want to just pick certain things out. So her name is, her her YouTube is LaRoche Posh, something like that. I will try to remember to link it down below, put it on the screen, something. But her installs are just next level. So her brand is called My Sticky Little Secret. I bought all this with my own money. It was not sent to me. And she has, let me see if I can put these in order. But this was $90, but y'all, you get a lot of stuff. Like, I definitely think it was worth it. So, the main reason I bought it is because of this melting spray. She used it in her video. So, if you ever want to wear something glueless, but it's still kind of having that cast, you can use this. And I believe it's a little sticky, but it helps to melt the lace into your skin so you can't see it as bad, see it as much. And this actually came with two in the set. So I was like, you had me sold on that. There is also a lace glue, which I don't normally use glue because I don't keep my wigs on, but I do like to have it just in case. There's also a skin protector, which I love that it comes with this because you prep your skin with this to help protect your edges and protect your skin. I've seen too many horror stories of people who get like rashes and stuff. Take care of your skin, people. It is not that serious. Um, and then there's also a lace glue remover, which I really appreciate this being in here because when I first started installing wigs, I was just using alcohol and that dries out your skin and your hair. So this is supposed to help take your wig off. You put it on, leave it on for one to three minutes and then gently remove it and then wash your face and wash the lace to get all the residue and stuff off after so also had wig caps in there which are the super thin ones and then you get two melting bands and of course you gotta have a baby a baby hair brush in there so i feel like this is the complete kit by somebody who knows what they're doing so it was a no-brainer for me to pick it up i do I think I'm gonna use some of these for my wedding look because I am gonna wear a wig. I wanna have the long, gorgeous Bay Loves highlights. So I wanna be Barbie for my wedding. Like I already do glam looks, but you know, it's a wedding. You gotta do like, you gotta do a lot. So I cannot wait to try this out and see how it works. Up next, we're gonna get into this one random item I bought from Amazon, but I think I got this on Prime Day. This is the Sol de Janeiro Radiance SPF 50 Body Spray. This is the Charosa 87. I believe this is like the original scent that they came out with that everybody loves. I personally, I ain't gonna say I don't like it, but it's not my favorite. Is that the original? Yeah, it is. 
it's not a bad smell. I like it. It definitely smell, smells like beachy vacation. But I think it also has, I don't see any radiance yet. Maybe a little. Yeah, I guess I do. I see a little bit. Let me see if I spray it on the back of my hand if y'all can see it. It definitely has that Sol de Janeiro, like the original scent. I wish it would come out in the, is it 68? The light pink one, the one that kind of smells like um, Baccarat Rouge 540. That's my favorite. But I keep that one by the bed. I spray it on sometimes before the gym. I spray it on sometimes before I get in the bed. Like that one just smells so sexy, yummy. I would wear sunscreen all the time if it came out in that, sh in that fragrance. But... Yeah, this smells okay, and I guess, yeah, you can see there's some radiance there. So if you want to be like bronze Barbie glistening in the sun, I feel like this would be good. It was on sale, so that's why I got it, because I think this is pretty expensive, and I was like, I don't know if I think that it's worth it to smell like that for a sunscreen, but on sale, yeah, it might be. Next, I picked up, this is from, we're going to go through all the stuff from the Cosmetics Company store. I picked up a diffuser. Now, y'all know these Joe Malone diffusers are really expensive. I think if you don't find them on sale, they're $110. And I think that is crazy, but they last a really long time and they smell amazing. So I love, I have Silk Blossom and which was the other one? Peony and Blush Suede. I always say that wrong, but that's like my all time favorite fragrance from Joe Malone. This is Wild Bluebell, which honestly, they didn't have a lot of scents. This one smells, it smells floral, but it definitely, it's definitely floral, but it's like, it just, it has a clean, fresh floral scent to it. So it's not as heavy, like, uh, I'm so bad at describing stuff. This smells really strong, so it's hard for me to get a whiff and I already have stuff on me but of what they had in the store it was the one I liked the most and it was something different and I think I got it for 60% off so I was like I'm just gonna grab one because I don't I might have a backup of my other ones but I knew I was running low so anytime I find a fragrance that I think I'll like I like to put these in the bathroom just because they make that room smell good and it's not too big of a space and it just looks really luxe in your guest bathroom in your main bathroom in your bathroom. I think I have one in my office. I'll be doing a lot with fragrances, but I like stuff to smell good. So there's that. These next two items were free gifts. This is the Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus Youth Power Cream. Y'all know Cosmetics Company Store is notorious for giving free gifts. If you spend a lot of money, I spend a lot of money. I don't care what the gift is. I want it. Either I'm going to use it or give it to a friend or put it in a giveaway. But for as much money as I'm spending, I want something for free. So skincare is expensive. Estee Lauder brand. Y'all know that is like tried and true. OG. It works. So thank you. I'll take it. I also got Clinique Happy, which I have this already. I do believe I will have to double check, but if I do, I'm going to put this in a giveaway because I don't need two of them. This smells good. It just low key gives me nostalgia, reminds me of like high school days. It's super light, super flirty, young. You know, if you just want something to kind of throw on and go effortless, I think this is a great fragrance. Or if you have a teenager or young adult, probably teenager to be honest who's you know trying scents and they love spraying your stuff give them one of these so they can stay out of yours i took it back to the old school and i bought an estee lauder double wear but this is their maximum coverage foundation they say this is for face and body i would not wear makeup on my body because i don't understand how people do that and it doesn't get everywhere it just doesn't make sense to me but i picked this up in the shade 5w2 so I have the light coverage one, I have the regular double wear, and now I have this one. I need to try this out because this may very well be my wedding day makeup for the simple fact that it is supposed to be all day. And being that I have not gotten a lot of sun, I think this shade may be okay today. My foundation was dark and I had to go over it a little bit with concealer and powder. Oh my God, that coverage. I'm gonna have to see how that dries down and if I would be able to shear that out. 
I just know I ain't gonna wear this for the wedding. That's a pretty good match though. Who am I getting a good shade match? I just, I like my foundation shade to be darker and then I can lighten it. I feel like if you get a foundation shade that's light and you're trying to darken it with bronzer and powder, it can come out looking uneven and your undercast looks ashy. And I would rather look a little bit darker and bronze and then highlight and use powder to lighten it and have it all melt together than to start off looking casket ready with a white cast. So that actually looks really, really good. I'm gonna have to try this by itself and see how it wears, but it's Estee Lauder Double Wear. Like we already know that's paint for your face. It's not going anywhere. Next, I bought two pomade and a pencils. These are one of my favorite brow pencils. This is the Too Faced Brow and Shape Filler in the shade Dark Brown. I love this one. It has a spoolie on the end. And then it is one of the triangle tip ones. It's not super big. Like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I have that one. I will show you um, the difference. This one is not as big as that one. But I don't like the super, super small ones either. So you can see the difference in the size of those there. It's still bigger than the regular micro pencils that are out. But I like something that has a little more... I have brows already, so I don't need a lot of help shaping them. And I feel like when I fill them in, they still look like hair, but it's just a lot faster. Um, so I actually like this one above my brow defi definer now and also better than my Gimme Brow Benefit. So yeah, I found these on sale. I'm going to take two. I don't know how many backups I have, but... It doesn't matter. I pretty much do my brows every day. Although lately, I have been going to the gym just doing brow gel. I've been using the Grande Lash Brow Gel. And it's supposed to help darken over time. So I feel like that's been helping to darken my brows so that they look even fuller than they are. But I just throw that on when I go to the gym. I leave them looking bushy. I don't try to define them. It's the gym, it's summer, it doesn't need to be all that. But then when I'm doing more for my brows, I'll use a pencil. Next, I bought a lip color. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Bold. This is their M Power Cream Lipstick in the shade Buttercream. I, if y'all know, y'all know I have trouble when it comes to finding nude lipsticks. This bullet is so gorgeous. Um. And I wanted a brown nude. I always get pinky nudes or peachy nudes. I wanted a brown nude. And I feel like when I swatch this, it's still peachy. <laughs> oh, when I tell y'all creature of habit, it is peachy, but it is light. And I wanted something lighter. So y'all, I don't know what's wrong with me. I swear to God, I swatch these in the store. I do. And I feel like, oh yeah, that's the one. That's so different. This is probably lighter. Let's see. This is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Praline. I think this one's darker. But y'all see the difference in the shade? So how I'm saying like that's peachy, a lot more pink. This is more peach. I do have a light brown nude somewhere. Let me see. Is it up here? No, I have one somewhere. It's not up here, but... It's a different shade than what I normally go, but it's still pink. Sticking with lip color, I bought a Tom Ford lipstick. Y'all know my obsession with Tom Ford. So I just had to get this. This is in the shade Suede Rose. Sounds like a pink. Um, that shade is so gorgeous. I feel like that is like my everyday. I feel like anytime something says suede, look at how gorgeous. Anytime something says suede, it has more of like a brown kind of undertone, like that terracotta kind of shade. And y'all, that's like my everyday lip color. So I needed to have that. It was not even a question. She's probably going in my purse. Unless y'all want to see it on in a video, comment and let me know before I stick it in my purse so you can see it on camera. Back to eyes, I picked up another eyeliner. This is the Better Than Sex Eyeliner in Deepest Black. Is this a brush? It just says liquid waterproof. 
yes, it is a brush. I love brush tips. I feel like they give you more control. You just have to not press down so hard, I learned. But anything, let me see. Let me swatch her. Because I feel like I remember being like, oh, yeah, love this applicator. Y'all know the Physician's Formula Lash Booster is one of my favorites. But I still like, whoops, to try. Yeah, that's pretty dark. I still love to try high-end ones every now and then, so for me to try it, it needs to be on sale, but yeah, that's pretty dark, and it is a brush tip, so this will definitely get some use. Next, I picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant Concealer. This is in the shade 4N. I have an Estee Lauder concealer, but it's not this radiant one, and I was kind of wondering if this would still have the same holding power as double wear but you know not be so dry and cakey getting older having these fine lines let's see how this looks with this okay good um having these fine lines under my eyes just sometimes if i use the wrong products if i use something that's too dry if i try to bake like today listen I feel like my forehead cooperated, my face cooperated, everything looks so airbrushed and I was just pulling products to see like, maybe I could use this for the wedding. I'm literally taking those products and putting them in a bag and they're coming with me to Texas. Getting married in Texas, not here in Georgia. I've talked about the wedding, didn't say that part, but want to do it close to my family, close to his family. So that's how that's going to work. But yeah, so I do feel like, where's my concealer brush? That's a good shade. Blends out really nicely. Those two can work well together. They should, it's the same brand. Um, but I think it's light enough to go with this. So I might have to stick that in the bag too. Next, this was an impulse buy. I don't care. This is... MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish. This is just Whitney. So this was the collaboration that they did for Whitney Houston. And uh, let's see, because honestly, I don't even remember what she looks like. Oh, she's gold. You know what? I feel like I remember swatching this and being like, how much are you going to wear this because of how gold it is? But it's kind of like a rose gold a little, I think. Swatch her over here. Nope, she's gold. I have the Mariah Carey one, and I feel like I probably just picked this up because I was like, eh, it's for Whitney. I don't know how much I will wear that, though. We'll see. If I get darker, than I would, but I feel like with the shade I am right now, I tend to go more towards champagnes than I do golds. Up next, we got another Tom Ford product. This is another eyeshadow quad. I legit collect these. If I like some of the shadows in the collect in that quad, I'm gonna get it. It just, it is what it is. I have a whole little section in a drawer dedicated to these. This is number 43 Ambrosia. Now I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know how long I've had this sitting. I don't remember, ooh. I didn't remember what this was, but she is pretty. This is so pretty. I'm trying to take this top. Look at those colors. Now I remember why I got her. Absolutely love. Do I want to swatch? Are my hands clean? Don't mess up the Tom Ford. I was like, I'm not swatching. I don't have eyeshadow palettes in here. Let me see. I swatch the two shimmers, of course. Oh, Lord. Why is she so hard, Pan? Both of them. Because I have makeup remover on my hands Ooh, but that is dark all right so the mattes are good i don't know about those other two shades though uh let's put them here yeah that is i am hoping that is because i have makeup remover on my fingers or something that might be a dud It's for the packaging, right? <laughs> I'm going to pull this palette out because I need to try it. I literally just wiped my fingers off with makeup remover. And that might not have been the best idea for this. So could be my fault. But I think this color story is pretty. So we're going to see what it does. 
I have another eyeshadow quad. This is in Smoky Quartz. So another Tom Ford. And what does she look like? Oh, so this one I was like, okay, palette with some deep shades. Now, feel like you're kind of gearing some stuff towards us, but I thought that's so pretty. And I feel like I could get an everyday look out of this. So I was like, you know what? Good neutral palette. Y'all know I love me a good neutral palette. I wear neutrals on most days. When I do my YouTube videos, pretty much that is the extent of like <laughs> me doing glam makeup now. I've just become such a homebody. And honestly, it's just because I'm happy and I'll be on the phone caking. So I don't want to go nowhere. I stay home. We watch movies, whether we're together, we're watching movies or apart, we're watching movies. <laughs> We will literally watch the same movie together from far away. So I'll be at home. I haven't, that's another reason why I kind of haven't filmed a lot, but I am going to get back into it. But yeah, that eyeshadow palette I could wear every day. So I was like, yep, I don't have a n everyday neutral palette from Tom Ford that I love that was deep enough. So had to pick that one up. We have another foundation. This is the Smashbox Always On Skin Balancing Foundation. I have this already and I forgot I bought it. And the crazy thing is I bought it in a different shade that I thought was the perfect shade. And then I saw this one and I was like, this is the perfect shade. And the other one is darker. I feel like this would be the perfect shade for me right now though. This one is in the shade M20N. So that's the shade there. And I do love me, God, that looks so light. Which honestly, if I was putting it on, Knowing me, it would be my skin tone, especially because I'm trying to grab a wipe. Um, a lot of these tend to oxidize and you have to keep that in mind, but I'm still just like, oh, I'm going to get a darker shade and then it oxidizes and it's even darker. And I'm like, what were you thinking? I like my foundation dark. That's what I was thinking. So let me see. See what I'm saying? And then I blend it out and it's like, there's, where is it? Because that's your skin tone. I just legit never believe <laughs> how light my skin tone is. I have an idea of what I want my skin tone to be, and it's not this, but here we are. So if you think you are a shade twin, this is M20N, and she needs to come out because I've heard this is a really good foundation, and you can wear it every day, and it's long wearing, but it's not matte. So if you have normal skin, dry skin, this is supposed to be really good, and it's hydrating, hyaluronic acid, all these good things and it's 16 hour wear so long wearing not cakey or drying she's coming in the bathroom because that's a damn good shade match next i have the mac hyper real serumizer this is a skin balancing hydration serum but it's also used as a primer so it's kind of giving me smashbox primerizer vibes if y'all remember that i probably still have that to be honest um but I've seen a lot of people talk about this and this is supposed to just be as a skincare supplement, but a lot of people have used it as a primer and I want to use it as a primer. So finally saw this at the cosmetics company store because I was not paying full price for it and I snatched it up. Last product from the cosmetics company store. This is the Smashbox and Becca under eye brightening concealer corrector. Um, this is in the shade dark. So I have medium and then I saw the dark one and I was like, you know, this is probably going to be better for the days when I want to put something under my eyes, but not do like full concealer and all that stuff. Ooh, okay. She's just, I feel like, is this my skin tone? She's just super creamy. So I would have to like really set this. Let's put her over here. Yeah, like it's peachy, so it'll correct the under eye hollows. I would still have to put a little concealer probably, but I just, I don't know. There's something about like going through the whole color correcting with an orange and then making sure you put enough concealer to cover the orange versus going with something like this that will still cover that has the orange, but not too much that you have to put a heavy concealer over it. So that was my reason for wanting to get it. And it's a cream, so it's not going to dry your under eyes out and accent, accent any of your fine lines, wrinkles, all that stuff. So this is also an OG product. Picked it up in dark, and I'm glad that I'm going to have this now because this will probably be a staple for my gym days. 
Last but not least, we have some nails. Glamnetic had a sale. They have become one of my favorites. If I'm looking for glue on nails, they've become one of my favorite brands. Like so many shades, so many shape options, long shorts. The ones that I have on right now are from Glamnetic. This is Berry Fizz. This is one of my favorites. I have two packs. This is the second wear I've gotten out of another pack. And I probably got a couple packs in this order. So let's see. Okay, this one I wore already, but let me find the other one because I did buy two of them. But this is the same shape as what I have on right now. This is their almond, what do they call it? Short oval. Where is it? So I can show you the whole thing. Oh, I don't have another one of these. I must have put them up already. I must have put them up. I have, I'm starting a collection of these. But this is in Caramel Apple. I hope you guys can see these two up here. It's the cat eye, but then it has the gold French tip and I'm not a big gold, but it's almost like a rose gold versus a regular yellow gold. And with the cat eye, I just think it is so gorgeous and I got so many compliments. This is the first time I ever had on a pair of nails that lasted me over two weeks. I had to re-glue the thumbs. I don't know what happened with that, but those were the only two I had to re-glue. So I was like, you know what? I love their glue. Where is it? I have this one right here. This is the brush on glue from them. I got with one of my other orders. I use that when I put my nails on. Let me put these things in order because I feel like a lot of these are the same. So I don't want to repeat while I'm describing what I got. I also got another backup of the brush on glue love having that because it's just so much easier than doing the little tube sometimes they get hard to squeeze and then you squeeze all over the place so i just feel like i don't know if it's theirs that works best with their nails their glue that works best with their nails i haven't tried it with any other nails but i definitely get a long wear out of my nails when i use the combo together Okay, the next set I got is Siren. I know I have this one in my collection, but I wanted another one because I just think these are so cute. I love when I can get nails. I hope this is focusing right. Um, I love when I can get nails that are not something that's easily painted. And y'all know I don't go do my nails at the salon. So those look super fun. Here are my Berry Fizz, the ones I have on right now. So I have two boxes of those plus two boxes in the drawer. I also got fairy dust, which these are so gorgeous. Like I could easily see if you don't like long nails, these could easily be a wedding set. It is the cat eye and it looks like, I don't think they're a French tip. It just says short oval, but the way the cat eye looks on them, it's almost kind of giving French tip. But I just think these would be so pretty for like, a neutral glam like you really tried and spent a lot of money on your nails look next I picked up electric which is also the short oval so very similar to the other ones except in green apparently I lost my mind this is all the same set this is rosé which I just thought this was the absolute most beautiful neutral it girl clean aesthetic nail and I was just like they're a little long but I think they're these are doable these are definitely doable and like I said they were on sale they have the cat eye going they kind of have the little iridescent going like I was just like I want a lot of those next I picked up frosted and I thought these were so pretty they are a kind of ombre French but it's a light blue to the nude shade and I thought that was cute I love blue so these are in the short almond as well I don't see oh the other ones are short oval okay that's the difference this is unicorn tear so it looks similar to what I showed you earlier but it's in a blue has that cat eye we got two of those and then last but not least, we got two of these. This is Aurora. Y'all look at how pretty that is. 
You can't pick a color, you got all the colors. I got two sets of those just because I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, that is it for this haul. It wasn't a long one, but I feel like I got some really good stuff and I can finally put this stuff away. I've been waiting to film to show you these things before. Oh no, one more thing, sorry. I ended up getting their press on nail remover. I am really bad at just ripping my nails off, especially if I'm in the gym and they are in the way, I will pop them off so quick, I don't care. I will pop them off, come home and put on another set. But I do wanna be better about taking care of my nails and taking the nails off. So I decided to try this. It says it's an easy way to remove them in minutes. So we will see one to two drops of the remover along the sides of the gap. Wait five to seven minutes for it to dissolve and it should pop them off. So we'll see, but like I said, if I need nails gone, I'ma pop them off. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment below, let me know. What do you think about the haul? Did I get some good stuff? Is there anything you wanna see? I really try to hear when you guys ask me to show something or give my opinion. Love talking to you in the comments. So talk back to me. Let me know if you're new. Hit that subscribe button. Please join the family. We would love to have you. Thanks for sticking with me to the end and I will see you in my next one. Bye.